All right, IB students, hope we're all keeping well. Wanted to talk to you today about ideas for your IA, okay? Over these summer months, a lot of time off, it's ideal time to be coming up with the perfect IA ready to get started in September. So, there's basically two types of IAs I would recommend you do. A modeling IA or a statistics based IA. If you're doing modeling IA, no, you're not walking down the catwalk. We're looking at using your knowledge of functions and particularly calculus to do model data. Okay, talk more about that in a second. Statistics can be a real winner. Simply do a statistical analysis on something that you really like or enjoy or that you're maybe passionate about. So, to give you some ideas of IAs that some of my students have done over the years would be something like modeling GDP. Uh, a very good one from a few years ago, modeling GDP of South Korea, and then combining it if, with the GDP of North Korea and see what would happen if the two countries were to unify, what would happen. Really good personal engagement from the students. Modeling populations of Cambodia, Syria, Kuwait and the UAE are really also good models where you plot the data using maybe Excel, Autograph, Desmos, a whole variety of different uh, platforms. And you model the data, the, for example, on Excel, it will give you a function to try match your data, and you can do all sorts of calculus on it. Um, those countries are particularly good. We've had people model uh, oil consumption good one from last year, cooling coffee. They just bought a cup of coffee in uh, Starbucks, measured the temperature every minute, then got another coffee from Starbucks but got it in a thermal flask and analyzed the differences, how long it stayed warmer in the thermal flask. One of the greatest ones I've ever seen is measuring tides. Simply a student went in with a pole and measured the tide over a 12 hour period at the local sailing club. Uh, people like to model their running and swimming times. If they're a really passionate swimmer, when are they going to get quick enough to qualify for the Olympics? Um, one of the great ones is a uh, hay fever drug in the body, measuring blood sugars, and obviously COVID-19 is a big one to model. It's been very, very popular this year, using the graphs and the flattening the curves all sorts of stuff with points of inflection, the rate of increase, calculus, it's brilliant. Here's, here's some of your modeling options. Now, statistics, it's really good. It's just comparing data, it's brilliant. Comparing boys' heights versus girls' heights using box plots, commuter frequency graphs, maybe histograms, trying to find out if heights are normally distributed in your year group, using normal distributions, the probability of you being one of the tallest people in the year group, all that sort of stuff. I've seen people comparing earnings from tennis players and golf players, their tournament earnings, trying to say, oh, should I go pro tennis, pro golfer, which pays the best? Again, comparing. People have good ones have compared Southern Hemisphere rugby players in height versus Northern Hemisphere rugby players with a, a long held belief by students. Oh, the Southern Hemisphere rugby players are bigger than the Northern Hemisphere. They did an IA and it was interesting what they found. And um, people try then maybe do regression analysis between IQ scores and exam performance. People analyze paper one and paper two scores from mocks. Gini coefficient index, really, really popular one. Infant mortality rates versus GDP. Total fertility rates versus GDP. Um, big one, you know, reaction times. Get someone to do reaction tests. Give them a drink of an energy drink like Red Bull. Do the reaction test 15 minutes later. Were they quicker? What about T tests? So much stuff you can use from your course. Whether you're an AA student, applications and analysis, applications and interpretations, or applications or analysis. Oh, I get mixed up with these letters. AA or AI. They're the courses. Analysis or applications. Okay, so much stuff you can use. Goodness of fit, chi-squared tests 
Apple distributions. Oh man, there's so much. So there's some there ideas for you. Get thinking about an idea for your IA and ping it to your teacher. Or put a comment on the video below and hopefully you'll get back to me. Okay, so this is the, I've given you a previous video. This is video number two. Maybe go back and watch video number one. This is just about ideas. So much stuff you can do it on. Okay, guys, best of luck and enjoy it. The IA can be your